my name is John Laux. I'm with Modern Welding Company here in Owensboro, Kentucky. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for the company. Today I'm going to present on a product of the year. It was a group effort, uh, company-wide, within corporate, our plant here in Owensboro, Kentucky, and there were some others involved in Ohio. It was a unique project because this was a special tank that was developed, technically speaking, uh, for testing with UL and Underwriters Laboratories for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. They had a containment space for backup power generation for their cryogenic department there within the hospital that these fuel tanks needed to be replaced. And the size of that containment area required some tanks that were exceeding the height, the height limitation per UL 142. So what we had to do internally here at corporate office was go through some calculations, get with underwriters laboratories, and go through the performance testing of what we needed to build in order to test a tank greater than 103 inches tall. So what we ended up coming up with was a 12 foot tall rectangular double wall carbon steel tank produced at both quarter inch wall thicknesses for primary and secondary. We had the fittings appropriately placed for, for filling the tank with water for the hydrostatic test. We went through load testing and all the test criteria under the performance section of UL 142. We did the tank test back in February of 2021 and everything went very smooth. Uh, we ended up getting the primary and secondary tanks both up to 25 PSI. Uh, the thing the tank itself went round on us, or it always wanted to go round from the beginning, just even at the slightest bit of pressure. But at the end, at 25 PSI, it was a rectangular tank that certainly wanted to continue its, its development into a, a round sphere uh, until catastrophic, until failure, uh, in which a weld seam um, on the side wall had ruptured on the secondary. We had monitored the tank throughout the entire test process. The test in itself lasted nearly all day. It was, it was uh, I think, an eight to eight to nine hour process. And UL had ended up giving us uh, the thumbs up and, and the approval for this 12 foot tall test tank. We then took it a step further and based on the calculations and the test data from that tank, we were able to even extend that height, increase that height to 14 feet. It's a great achievement for the engineering team and sales team here at Modern Corporate Office, and, and most importantly, to help the Children's Cancer Hospital of Philadelphia. The tanks uh, since have, have been produced. Uh, they were built here at plant number one, locally in Owensboro, Kentucky and then transported up to Philadelphia and installed there at the Children's Cancer Hospital. It was a great project to work on. Uh, we were thank very thankful to uh, have the opportunity to not only go through the test process, it was certainly educational for our engineering and, and, and technical team here at corporate office and at the plant itself, but and it spoke for the quality of the welds uh, for those welders here at our shop and the attention to detail that they have from not only, of course, the welders themselves, but the quality team there internally at the plant. Uh, it, was, it was a great experience for everyone involved. Um, even you all, I know everyone, even the customers, we had a live web feed, and everyone certainly enjoyed watching that tank try to go round and, and watch it, you know, even when it got to failure, it was, it was quite exciting. Tanks themselves, uh, again, as I mentioned, they are installed. They are in a containment area. There, there are several of them that have been produced. And it's for, again, as I mentioned earlier, it's for backup power generation for that cryogenic department. Uh, without it, you know, there's certain, there, there are certain uh, specialized laboratories there within the hospital that require that, that cryogenic laboratory to keep the, keep the facility up and running. Um, you know, we're super happy to be involved with this. Uh, we're thankful, you know, for everyone, for everyone who had worked with us on this project, uh, not only from, you know, UL internally, the customer side and the contractor side, uh, but also STI support, uh, Joe Mincer, Steve Pollock, those, those guys were, were very influential and, and helped us, help, helped us beyond measure in, in making this happen 
uh, from working with UL and, and helping us out on the calculation side, paperwork side, um, and, and assisting not only just in the test process, but the production and also on the installation in, in working with the customer. So thank you to, to Joe and to Steve. Um, you two are, are awesome and, and thankful for the entire STI team for your support. Um, and even in the submittal process here, everyone, uh, everyone who had voted for us for the uh, Atmospheric Storage Tank Product of the Year.